The first dish I'll be cooking is the miso glazed scallop with pickles, pak choy and a miso broth. I'm going to take the fresh scallop out of the shell, I'm going to clean it, take the rose off, I'm going to marinate it in the miso glaze and then pan sear it. Inside the miso glaze is miso, mirin and the kikkerman soy sauce. Uh, I'd marinate the scallops for at least a day just to get all the flavours into the scallop. So to make the broth I use the dashi stock along with the miso paste, coriander seeds, lemongrass, orange peel. I add the aromats to the, to the broth and then it infuse for about an hour. So the kikkerman soy sauce in the dashi stock lifts the flavours of the kombu, the orange peel, the lemongrass, the coriander seeds and marries all those flavours together to bring you a nice dashi stock. So now I sear the scallops in a hot pan, get a nice colour on each side and then let it rest and while it's resting I sauté my cabbage, my pickled red cabbage and blanch my pak choy, add that to the garlic. To plate I start with the pak choy, sautéed red cabbage, then I put the seared scallop on top and then around the outside I put the pickled shimmerji mushrooms, the crispy garlic and the pickled julienne ginger. And then to finish we just pour over the dashi stock and then serve. So there we have the miso glazed scallop with the pickles, pak choy and miso broth. My second dish I'll be cooking the venison cooked in spice fond with sweet potato dumplings, kohlrabi and freshly sliced truffle. So firstly I take my venison saddle which is on the bone and I marinate that for 24 hours in uh, spice fond which is the kikkerman soy sauce with uh, cinnamon, Szechuan peppercorns, uh, orange zest and a bit of sugar and then we put that in a sous vide bag and water bath that at 56 degrees for one hour. The kikkerman lifts the flavours of the Szechuan peppercorns, the coriander seeds and the cinnamon and brings it all together and balances the flavours. So for the sweet potato dumplings I take a sweet potato, I dice it and boil it until it's tender and then drain off the water, put it in a blender and then make a puree and then I'd add my butter, my corn flour, salt, pepper and then we mix that to make, a, to make a paste and then we spoon that into the fryer to make the dumplings. Uh, the dumplings take about one minute in the fryer just till they're golden brown then you take them out and put them on a bit, bit of sheet of paper just to absorb the oil. So for the kohlrabi I blanch them in a, in a mix of half butter, half milk with a bit of salt and pepper and when it's tender I drain it and then I crush it up with a fork and then finish it off with a touch of truffle oil. So now I take the venison out of the water bath, take it out of the bag, drain off the excess spice fond and then get a pan nice and hot on the stove, pan sear one side of the venison, get a nice colour and then I take off the saddle from the bone and then return it back to the pan just to finish off the other side of the venison saddle and then I leave it to rest while I finish my other garnish. To plate the dish we take the Ecrese kohlrabi we do a quenelle on the plate and then we put, cut the venison, we put the sliced venison on the plate with the sweet potato dumplings and then we freshly slice some black truffle onto there and finish with a bit of venison jus with some of the spice fond through it. So there we have the venison cooked in the spice fond with the sweet potato dumpling, kohlrabi and freshly sliced black truffle. Mm -hmm.